up guys um, I'm back again uh, so what we're going to talk about today is I want to talk about Gold Lewis and also why I personally think that he is okay um, okay before the changes that Stripe had uh, this character was top tier in my opinion um, guys please don't shoot me it's my opinion and I'm going to explain why I think so right so me saying top tier I don't wanna I don't wanna place orders like top five or top ten or whatever no 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 he's just top tier depending on who you are it's where you decide to put him but I want to explain um, why I personally think this character is very good okay was very good and where he sort of ranks now after the FD changes um, so that's what we'll be talking about today so let's get to the gist of everything god I need to work on my intros <laughs> okay guys um so let's get to it so um i'll also try and break this character down for for other people who sort of don't know the matchup um i don't know if what i'm going to explain is going to help you be able to actually beat this character i know that he has bad matchups i mean um he has really yo, he has really bad matchups but like reason why I think he's top is because of his offense. All he has to do is touch you once. That's all. That's all. He needs to literally touch you once, then you explode and die. And we already know how guilty gear strive is with damage. So um so what I'll be talking about is why I personally think that is top tier and where he, he was actually where he was like where why i'm thinking he was top tier before the changes and where he is currently at the moment right so um back then right gold lewis okay also a reason why i think people don't actually rank him like um properly is because he's quite a difficult character to play all these things all these behemoth typhoons like they're not easy to do to be honest they they they're not easy to do um it's not for everyone so maybe most of the people like um as you can see i'm also struggling to do the things now um probably people think oh no this character is difficult due to the input of this behemoth typhoon and they're not wrong these are not easy to do like these are not easy to do as you can tell, I'm also failing. But I'm there. All those spins. All those spins. Like those those are all quarter circle forward, quarter circle up, quarter circle down, quarter circle back, quarter circle. They're all quarter circles. That's why like it's even difficult for people to actually do combos with gold loose and stuff. So maybe that's why people can't actually um, rate this character properly. But now this video is only based on my opinion, right? So, and reason why I think he was top tier, and I'll also discuss where I think he is um, right now. So, um, let's see, uh, Kai. So, okay, let me just set Kai to block. Um, all right. So, prior to the to the patch right are you even blocking oh block all bro um oh god oh god right um am i missing something uh okay i don't understand why he's not blocking everything though 
Well, am I supposed to do something for him to blow blow? Um, guys, I'm not really familiar with this uh, thing. I'm one guy that doesn't even know the notations of this game. So, normal block, right? Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, enable. Is that gonna help? Oh, there you go. Alright. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys, about that. So, why I think Gold Lewis was actually top tier um, uh, on the previous patch is because once it, once it got in, there's nothing you can do. Like literally, he can mix you up for days, and uh, people didn't actually use this to the to the advantage. Well, I did. Um, like these, these, these are. Look at the damage. I mean, all that was cheap damage. Kai was blocking everything. Look at this. Look at all that chip. Like it's literally five percent per behemoth type food. Literally five percent. That's a lot. That's a lot. And now you can imagine um, pre-patch. Once you're stuck in the corner, like you couldn't do anything. I could mix you up with the low. Could mix you up with the overhead, fast overhead. While you are blocking this, your risk um, gauge is going up. As you can see, it's flashing down top. Once I touch you and that's flashing at the top, it's GG. Like it's GG. And take into account the the chip damage I'm doing to you as you don't know if I'm going low, I'm going overhead. Like it, it, it's very tricky and people still don't know what to do when this guy is here. Like they still don't know, right? I'll also try and explain that part as best as I can. I'm not an expert when it comes to guys, but I'm gonna give it my all for you guys to understand. So pre-patch, you couldn't beat the, most of these, especially this was a frame trap. Like you, you can see, like it already pushes him back, and there's no FD. So FD is like floodless defense, which um, your character will spark blue. And then it pushes your opponent like backwards, like it minimizes the pressure, right? So um, prior to that, the changes and everything, this was OP. Like it, it frame traps and you can't do anything. Like you couldn't even interrupt it. You can, but it was very, very tricky. That was a, that, this was a frame trap. You die, and it, it's a launcher. It launches you up into into whatever you want to do. Let's see if I can actually demonstrate that. There you go. And knock down. Once you knock down, the pressure restarts again, right? And then I'm back here again, right? Wall break, and then you die. This was OP. And this was very, very good before the uh, the FD changes. But now, FD changes, um, they, they kind of hurt Gold Lewis. Not too much, depending on how good you are and how you actually play the game. Uh, FD is still very much a, a factor when fighting this character. But, like I said, depending on how you play Gold Lewis, will determine how actually good the FD is, in my opinion. Because you can just do this, and people, because an FD is actually, I'm not sure with the notations. So it's, wait, let me see actually, oh yeah. So it's, it's, it's slash and heavy slash, right? This blue thingy appears. So this blue spark, it eats tension, right? I don't know if I can remove that, can I? Oh, get certain, yes. Aha. So look at this, right? Like the faultless defense is good, but then it eats up your tension. And tension in this game is very important because it leads to supers, it leads to roaming cancels, right? 
So it, it's a scary fact that regardless even now that you think um, Fortless defense is kind of going to save you. It is going to save you a lot. But then, like I said, depending on how you actually play Gold Lewis, it's, 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 yeah, it's very tricky. Because I can just come and just, like, try and scare you. Like, all you're doing, normally, I, I, unless you're a very good player, which is you only um, FD when your opponent, are, like, attacks, then it doesn't, it doesn't, like, eat that much. But then, with most characters, like, most opponents, what I've realized is, when they block, they just hold it like this, and it eats their attention, right? And the more the more that happens, I'm just like I'm just doing stuff because you also don't know how to handle the pressure, and you're just holding this. You can't even do anything because, mind you, also tension uh, it forces um, um, your opponents to kind of back away. I don't know. It's called I think it's called um, yellow us. Is it? Guys, I'm not really sure with these things, but let's see. It's not it's not that burst. Risk level. No no no, it's not that. I forgot what it's called, but I think it's gold cancer. No, not gold cancer, gold burst, right? Yes, I think it's gold burst. So gold burst is, is something similar to this, but then now you're only using your tension, right? So just to push back your opponents. Right. So um, Go Lewis was very strong before the FD changes. Very strong because FD didn't even push Go Lewis that much. Uh, let me just try and demonstrate here. Um, flawless, flawless defense. As you can see, right? Look at the look, look at the pushback. See, and and before the update like it wasn't this bad like they made the fruitless difference to actually push your opponent further further away and look what's happening to the to the tension as i said okay this used to work now it doesn't work right so what i normally do when i play gold is because this is a mix-up so it's either i go overhead or low right so as you can see, Kai is floodless defending, is empty defending. So most of these things won't work because of the pushback, right? The low won't connect because of the pushback, right? But what I normally do when I play gold loose, I do this because I know my opponent is um, um, anticipating a low. So I just do this, go in, then grab, right? So it plays into them. Like I'm trying to actually condition them in a way that um, they'll just they'll just like how can i put it they will be scared to be grabbed right oh my bad they'll be scared to be grabbed right so they will try and, uh, and run away from the grab that's when i actually do this because mostly most of the time people jump right unless they are anticipating their grab then they'll break the grab but most of the time i just i just like do that then it, it blocks stuns them while they're in the air until maybe halfway down that's when they stop and at that time you are so plus like you can't you can't block something like that that um stun blocks you like this like in the air like that in the air and then you 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 have the goal to actually press a button you're going to die like you're going to die so like you just have to respect that right like you you, you just don't have a choice you have to respect it right otherwise you're going to die like you, you, you yeah like there's, there's, no, <laughs> there's no other way to put it you're going to die right so uh, prior to this change god lewis was very strong now i still think he's strong maybe he fell down into like mid tier knocking at the door of top tier in that guys that's my opinion right he's mid tier knocking at the door of top tier right because this if, like hence i said if you know how to play this character very good like you can you can frame trap and, and 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 do a lot of things and mind you remember this that that but this button is very, is very good like now it only hits twice right but prior to the update i think it will hit three times or four times right now it only hits twice then i'm pushed back right 
So, and it's a frame trap. It still does what it has to do. It's still a frame trap. Like, you can even go in for a grab. Um, like, there's so many things you can do. Right? And why I also think Gold Loose is very strong is most opponents like to backdash. What I like to do with those opponents is this. This, this, this jump this jump D is very strong especially when you're playing against soul that's what i've actually noticed um all you have to do is this because soul most of soul's buttons are, are just the mostly mids so now um when you do this it's easy for you to actually counter and once this counters you in you end everything with this that's a knockdown then you go in then you do damage from there so this is very strong also go loses cross-ups like that's a cross-up by the way like after a knockdown that's a cross-up that's a that's a cross-up that's a cross-up that's a cross-up cross cross depending on where you jump hence i'm saying like you need like if you're a really good uh gold lotus uh, player you you will know how to utilize this thing well, I do during my matches. That's a cross. Like, you, 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 you can see what's going on, but nine times out of ten, this is gonna hit you, right? Because Gold Lewis is gliding in the air, and you are blocking the on the opposite direction. So there's no way, like, you're gonna. Yes, you're gonna block this, but like, most of the time, it's gonna hit you. What I like doing is actually, I like, I like doing this. Right, that's a cross up, especially when after getting a knockdown. That's a cross up. Okay, now it's not okay. There you go. That's a cross up, right? So it keeps me low, like low key safe. If I do this, right, I can still I have time to block. Right, before I I will just do this, just for that cross up. Then I, when they actually block it properly, I'll I'll kind of get punished but now i prefer getting a bit far from them so i survive i guess but uh since the fd changes i feel like he's mid tier now he's not very bottom tier he has bad matchups yes but once he's in there's nothing you can do like there's literally nothing you can do especially if you're playing with the mix heavy opponents he can utilize these actually and just by you fd look at how much you lose you fd everything right like it's it's, it's crazy it's crazy so I, I honestly think this character is slapped on and i've played this character um since launch so i've struggled i've got your my fingers have hurt because I'm using a, a PS4 D-pad. Um, so doing these things, it's not easy. It takes some getting used to, actually. But once you get used to it, it's actually, it's actually fun, right? It's actually fun because it does mad damage. Like this character does mad damage. Uh, let's see if I can sort of demonstrate the damage. Um, that's a simple as bnb right it, it does, the, the overhead doesn't doesn't combo right but since you're afraid of this the low nine times out of ten if you are afraid of the low that's gonna hit you or if you are you are actually anticipating go loose movements you can block it but i'm plus after that right but me being plus you can also interrupt like the the startup frame of this thing is very slow right you can easily interrupt this right you can easily easily interrupt that uh let's see if i can actually um okay let's see let's see oh shit he has to block right See? can actually interrupt that right but 
you need to be careful like you can also interrupt that like like maybe that's why uh people think uh, i'm low tier but did you see what just happened there eh? right you can even block like there's so much you can do especially when you anticipate that your opponent is gonna interrupt and nine times out of ten you are afraid to interrupt gold lures because once it touches you with the counter you're dead you are dead you can't interrupt that by the way and that's the that's the overhead but the the fast version of this is the faster version of this because you can interrupt that but you can't combo off this one that's, oh shit you can <laughs> oh shit but okay you only combo off of it if it's a counter right okay now i can't oh there you go oh okay that's 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 good to know oh my god okay i just need to be consistent with it oh there you go okay all right i'll just left that more but yeah as i was saying you can interrupt it and the low see it's easy but you can't interrupt that's a frame trap as you can see you don't even have time to to to, to um interrupt it's very fast this two that's very fast but this you die what else do you die from this you die oh no you actually blocked that it's a low also it's a fast low though because god Lewis has um has a fast and a slow for everything right so he has a fast for this like a fast um move for this he has a fast move for the low um so it's actually nice like it's not easy like the hands i'm saying like you can do all your floodless blocking but if you do come across a very good good look uh gold lewis you're gonna struggle all right yeah that's that's just it you're gonna struggle um okay where was i let's just remove that all right so you can like people like tend to be scared of this so you can actually um uh interrupt it but them doing that they can counter you with this one or this one right that leads to big damage that leads to big damage as i was also trying to showcase um his damage right now you can't combo out of that because it's not a counter right can't do anything with that so um normally what people do is add most of their strings with this one right it's a it's a quarter the quarter circle from your right all the way to the top until your left right um i'm not like hands on said guys i don't know the notations of this but if you you do play this game you will know what this move is like and what it does right so it's a quarter it's a quarter circle um from forward to backwards right but on an up motion that's how you do this so what people normally like doing is they will end their combos with that because it's a hard knockdown right see that's a hard knockdown you in after that you in oh can also combo that after a low so that's why gold loose is so scary like you can combo out of almost anything as you can see so if you try interrupt that one that's what you're gonna get and this time it's not gonna be a regular damage like this it's gonna be a counter hit right so make sure if you are planning on picking up this character make sure you practice this one most of the time because it's also his sort of way to kind of control neutral though, though he doesn't actually do it because this he, it's slow but it can also hit you from the back if you jump it right as you can see like the coffin ends behind him it can hit you from behind gold lewis so this is also like a sort of a neutral game vibe you can use that but don't overuse it i also like i mostly use it 
just to keep my opponents away right it, it once it hits you it's a knockdown you're in once you in your opponent's die like your opponent's die and then it's very fast this is a fast one can combo out of this um can this can combo also overhead can combo the low can combo but the first one can combo the first one can combo um what else can combo oh this one i, I, I used to like this button a lot but i don't because um it's okay this one is the easiest to learn but it knocks your opponents away you don't want that let's go lose you don't want your opponents being there because some of them will outzone you it's just bad only use this when they're in the um, probably corner and you want maybe a, a wall splash then it's easier to do but always end your combos with this this one this one always end your combos with this one always right and you can combo out of it it's easy easy well i say it's easy because i've been playing go lois for like months now but like if you practice this one you'll be good because you want your opponent here you want your opponent all the way there right so he also has a wall bounce So, I need to practice that combat. Actually. There you go. So that. Oh! So imagine this gets you in a counter motion, right? Right? Um, let's try that actually. Let's see what happens if you get counter hit by this. Oh my god. Oh. That's half your health. You you lost 50 60 is it 60? It looks it looks like 55 to me. You lost 55% because you got countered by Goldman. Like, this is why um, I don't blame people for being afraid from pressing a button. Right? Because he will kill you. Like, he, he doesn't care. Even if you nag Nago, Nagori Yuki, you're gonna eat this. You're gonna feel the pain for this. Like, you're gonna feel the pain. Right? I don't wanna even talk about Chip, because Chip. Chip, Chip has, Chip is a paper bro, I don't want to talk about Chip, Chip died. So guys, that's why I actually think Nago is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, so, he's, 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 he's very much beatable. Once you tie him down into the corner, he struggles also. Like, he's the, I think the only thing he has going for him is this move, in the corner, right? So once you're getting pressured in the corner, if you can be able to land this, and it's not easy, I'm even still also trying to learn how to hit confirm it, because sometimes it happens so fast, and you you, you sort of panicking because your opponent is on top of you here. But once you get this, you out, right? You do that. They try to back dash, you hit them with that. So back dash and also be careful. That will catch a back dash. This one. This will, will catch a back dash. This will catch a back dash. Because it, it's slow. So, um, back dashing that is actually tricky, but you can do it. But it's very tricky. Don't back dash. Oh, also, oh actually, you can back dash this also, if I'm not mistaken. Also, this. Easy. Okay, these ones are easily back dashable, but you need to be careful. Very careful. Like I said, one counter hit. It's GG's. It's GG's.
It's GG's. So I also wanted to point out um his okay, since I was talking about the new FD changes, I wanna try and talk about his also his new changes, right? Um the C block. Um I wanna show you guys something. So I wanna showcase um his like plus moves, right? Cool. So what I like doing against my opponent just to sort of close the gap, I like to fly, right? You saw what I what happened there. I was able to block, right? So not every 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 um behemoth in the air you, it can be blocked. Some are so negative that you're gonna get hit. Um so you also have to be careful. So this you can't do that. I only do that if I'm like most of the time I'm crossing up or I know my opponent is doing something and I wanna close the gap quick. Cause it, it, it's it's a it's this move, it's very quick, so it also closes the gap very quickly. And he swings the coffin like in front of him, so the hitbox also plays a role there. But if they block, they can punish you. As you can see there. Punish. Like you don't even have the time to block that. Like you don't, right? But there's safer options, right? Say now you like most of the time this works when you're in a long set, cause now you now know your opponent and you know their tendencies, right? So what I like doing is this: you can block that one. Oh my god, I did it! Wait, see? Cause it's it's plus, right? It's plus. See? That one is safer. Only when you know your opponent is not gonna press a button because if they see you coming with this they'll punish you because your hammer is coming from behind you. So you'll be able to get fucked up, right? And for example, player uh, characters like Nago. I'll well, mostly give examples with the characters that I play. I don't play the whole cast. So Nago can um, down uh, heavy slash you and that will kill you if you're coming up like this because you're exposing your body, right? So only go for this if you know you got, you're going, it's going to land. What I like doing is um, I'll get a knockdown, right? Um, let's see. I can showcase. I'm just try also trying to give my, uh, my, my how I actually play this character tips on how I play this character. Um, okay, not blocking low. So, say you get a knockdown, right? And I know, like, after getting a knockdown, you know your opponent, unless you have a, a, a DP happy type of character. Then you also have to bait those DPs and stuff. But what I like doing is this, right? Then I go for that. I'm plus. You're not gonna do anything there. You're gonna die. Oh, I went over him. Oh man. Ah, but guys, you get the gist of it. <laughs> you get the gist of it. So what you do is just um, use this. See, I'm plus D. Like they're not gonna. If you press a button there, they're gonna. Like you're gonna kill them because of how good this move is, right? It's it's plus. Like I said, this move is plus. I like to do it most of the time after I get a knockdown with this. Then I move in. It couldn't even punish me, right? So after getting a knockdown, you go in with that, and then unless they know. The wound, the wound, oh, okay. Also, I must mention that depending on the height that you do this, yes, it's safe, right? But for you to be plus, you need to be in a certain um, height, right? So, need height, because if you're up here, it's just safe. That's it, right? You don't, you're not plus, because you're gonna get, um, when you're there, you plus, right? Like middle, middle screen. You, in that, I think middle screen, yeah, I'm safe. I say I'm plus three. 
you don't want that. Like you died because you pressed the button. Right? So um This is a safer air behemoth typhoon. It's very safe. So I mostly do it when um my opponent is knocked down. And on counter hit, it's actually also good, right? It's also plus. That's plus. You lose! Ah. Oh, bro. That's plus. Look at the amount of health you lose because you press the button after that. And a lot of people don't know, but that's plus. You're gonna die. Oh, okay. I'm doing the high thing wrong. Oh my god. Okay, that's just safe then. That's plus. Yeah, you get the gist of it guys. So that's plus. What else is plus? This one. I say N plus, right? You see, we, like we trade it. So also depending on how how far I am in the A, that can be plus also, right? The, the overhead. So this is the overhead behemoth. It's safe, right? On block, right? This is safe on block. And it's plus depending on the like how further are you from the ground, right? It, it, it's, it's the same as the it's the same as this one, the same as that one. But you need to be actually see that's safe, that's safe, right? And it can be plus also like I mentioned. See, and you don't want this hitting you on counter, guys. It's bad for you. Because you bounce literally in front of me. What do you think is gonna happen to your life like that, bro? Ugh, I'm dropping my combos. Maybe it's because I'm recording. See? Oh my god. You don't want to get hit by this guy. Oh! Oh! Yeah, guys, you get the gist of it, right? Hansa said like one touch you did. One touch you did. But in the corner like he has poor defensive uh, options. Like I said, the only move most of the time you have is this. Right? Unless you actually read your opponent, you can jump back and do that. Right? Like I said, this this is this is sorry, excuse me. Um, this FD is one of the best uh, jump, uh, jump Ds, I said FD, my bad, jump Ds in the game. This is one of the best jump Ds in the game, because it also hits you from far, right? So it can jump over projectiles, I know it can jump over um, Soul's projectile, Kai's projectile, um, can it jump over? Unless, unless, um, hmm, unless Leo charges it, because now I'm trying to think, unless Leo charges it, this, this is going to, like, if he charges the, the, the projectile, right, this is going to hit, um, I'm not sure because of how, because it looks like it's meat, like it goes, it, it, like, I, I'm not sure, I'll just have to lab, um, Leo's. Can it jump? I think it can. Bro. I'll just have to lab uh, Leo's projector. But 
this jump on like a lot of things. Also, uh, um, you know, struck, uh, struck a big tree. This beats that. Um, what else? Yeah. I don't know if I've covered everything for you guys. I'm just trying to think if I've covered everything for you guys. But like that's that's like I said, like those are the reasons why I think he was top, very top tier, depending on where you actually place him like in terms of numbers. But for me personally, he's he's very top tier, this guy. Right? Prior to the FD changes. Now, FD changes he dropped to like mid tier. Right? Also depending on how you actually play him. It also matters on how you actually play him. So um yeah. Uh let's see. Oh no. So because of these changes, that, that pushes him very far away. Right? As you can see. You need to stop hitting me, bro. Uh <laughs> thank you. Right, so that pushes him like further away. Right, that pushes him like further away. But depending on how you actually play it, you can actually like what are you gonna do there? I'm coming in. You still on that block style? There's not much you can do because if you press a button, you're gonna die. Right. I also like using this, you can use that to go in. Let's say um, you're having like characters who like to zone. I mostly have a problem when I'm fighting Axel. You, you, I actually have to scratch my head to get in because Axel's zoning is oppressive. Yari. So, um, unless like you see what your opponent is doing, you can use that. Then this is what I like to do. Jump FD, jump, uh, not FD, jump dust, sorry. Jump dust, jump dust, as the drone is still there, right? Just to keep your opponent guessing. Also, Gatling Gun, that's a, also a good tool. So, um, Gatling Gun, not like, also, yeah. Let me just also um, get that out of the way, out of the way. So, Gatling Gun, when the. As you can see, Gold Lewis has two bars at the bottom, right? So the, the one on top is the one that charges this thing. The Gatling Gun and the Drone, right? So depending on how full the meter is, it'll determine how far your Drone goes. As you can see now, the, the meter is full. It, it goes low-key full screen unless I'm moving forward and your opponent is moving backwards then it sort of dies because it, it, it doesn't travel too much distance right as you can see there and now the gatling gun depending on the meter that's how many hits it'll take like uh have on you right so it's full it's 30 right that's 30 and if it's half full it's 20 that's 10 depending on how full your um, meter is determines those two um, special moves so also what I like to abuse is when my meter is full and I catch my opponent it's the only time to actually go in because the Gatling gun at full meter knocks your opponent down so it's a knockdown so you have a chance to actually close the gap from your opponent right right there's a lot like you can do but once they like here yeah, that's where the problem is right maybe that's why in most tiers is low tier because he has no defensive options but like all, all i say is always look out for this don't get counter hit but sneak this in once in a while because that's gonna help you get out right Now you have the corner pressure after the cross up. Now they don't like to be here. Trust me, they don't. As you can see, what happens to their life? <laughs> they are dead. D E D dead. Right. So, um, 
I think that closes everything I wanted to talk about um, on why I think he's top tier and everything. Um, but yeah, God Lewis is he's a fun character to to to, to play, but it, it, he's difficult. Like he's very difficult. This this the the Beamus typhoons are not easy to actually do. You need like a lot of matchups, also to know in certain situations what you have to do. Um, otherwise, once you figure that out, it's mostly GG's for your opponent actually. As you can see, I'm also not consistent with these. But once you get consistent with these, uh, you're gonna enjoy this character guys. So that's my Gold Lewis guy. Um, if I did miss something and oh maybe you guys wanna correct me, please leave um, your your comments on the comment section below. Um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. See you next time.